comes to helping children concentrate in class, schools in the South are really thinking outside the box. In the past, we've heard about classroom massages and reading dogs. When our school in Dorset has adopted a new technique to help children really pull their socks up. Sarah Farmer explains. Shirt, tie and slippers. The Isle of Portland Aldridge Community Academy has a classroom dress code with a difference. They've adopted a no-shoes policy for lesson time. Kids take their shoes off, good things happen. Their behaviour improves. It's really hard to be naughty with your shoes off. <laughs> it's even harder to bully with your shoes off. Secondly, the rooms are cleaner. And thirdly, the kids are happy to sit on the clean floor and read and do things comfortably. Students wear shoes when they're in the technology lab and there's footwear available when they visit the bathroom. But other than that, it's socks and tights. Stripes seem to be on trend, with an occasional polka dot popping up. Some even have holy ones. And the teachers are suited and not booted too. We wanted to engage the learners in every element of design in this building. And the children went off, they found out loads of examples from around the world. And they really hooked on the idea that shoeless learning would be a good idea. So what do the pupils think? You go on the front of a shoes on and you can outside and you might get really you might get it really dirty in that. It makes you a little bit relaxed because you can't touch the floor and if you do you can't feel the constant rubbing and the sound of your shoe rubbing against the floor. Do you know when you have like shoes on and it's really loud, it's like really calm when they don't have shoes on. Wow, they really seem to like it. But I had to ask. Is there a problem with smelly feet? Yeah. <laughs> And loads of smelly <laughs> He's sweet and very honest, isn't she? There we are. Okay, a bit of sports news now for you.